Alex, we're uh, continuing today to talk about you know, virtual, the world of using uh, virtual when it comes to running meetings, either internally or with customers. And uh, one of the things that I've uh, often come across is, you know, despite the fact that people often say, you know, there's a lack of interactivity, that type of stuff, we know there are oodles of tools and ways that you can drive interactivity. But I'm just wondering whether if you're the person who's going to be running the meeting, you know, some of the doubts about how I run the meeting and how I use those tools and, you know, that lack of confidence perhaps stops people, you know, using those tools. So I'm just wondering, you know, What's your thought on that, Alex, and some of your top tips to overcome that? Well, you know, you're, you're absolutely right to say that one of the challenges with uh, virtual meetings and and uh, particularly if you're managing a group of people through some kind of exercise or even learning is interactivity is, is going to be at the epicenter of the success of what you do. But interactivity using tools like breakout rooms, like jam boards, um, like polls and the, uh, you know, etc. all the rest of the tools you have requires coordination. And the silver bullet in all of this is to use a producer. So somebody who is working virtually alongside you, to, if you like to pull the strings of the event so that you can focus on doing the stuff that's important for the people that are in your virtual room. So working with a producer for me is a absolute game changer when it comes to running um, interactive virtual meetings. Yeah, and I guess it's one of those things that not a lot of people have really thought about because they perhaps put all the pressure onto themselves. So I guess it just almost relieves you of some of the pressure as the person who's running the meeting or facilitating the meeting. So yeah, I think it's a really top tip. So let's just dig a little bit deeper. You know, what are the sorts of things that a producer could do for you? And you know, what are some of the keys to success to make that happen? So it's a great question. And, and the key to this is the planning um, of what it is that you're trying to do. So first of all, for example, if you're working with a producer, you need to show up with that person way before you start that event, if you're running some kind of event, and make sure that you've got all the ducks in a row, making sure that all the things that you want to do are ready to go. So for example, if, you've got, if you're going to do breakout rooms, how are those going to work? Who's going to be in those breakout rooms? When is that going to happen? For example, if you have a Jamboard or some other kind of virtual whiteboard, how is that going to happen? If you need to send a link out, for example, at what point is that going to happen in the chat? How are you going to instruct the uh, the people that are in the room to do what it is that you want to do? And there's a lot more detail behind that, as you can imagine. But rehearsal and planning would be number one. Number two would be uh, thinking about how that person can help you as a second pair of eyes. So, for example, if you've got a big group, and, and for example, if you're using the chat function, which you would often do to get regular and immediate interaction, have them look out for things that are coming up that are important or pertinent that you may well miss. And then also have a contingency so that they're able to communicate with you in a way that is attracting your attention to things that you need to know as the, the person who's running that meeting um, so that you can, you, know, you can bring it in and naturally pick up with the things that are happening. And the final thing I would say, sorry, Gareth, the final thing I would say in all of that, all of that requires planning, as I said, so therefore have a checklist. That makes it rather, rather rigorous, but a checklist. So you literally check things off in your planning phase when you're setting up with the producer to make sure that there is no stone unturned. It's an absolute game changer when you get it right and, and completely facilitates real interactive. So so having a, a, I really like that phrase, second pair of eyes, someone to, to really help you and coordinate. And I guess it makes that much more smooth for the participants and therefore helps you as the facilitator or person running the meeting to really focus on the job in hand. And uh, I, I guess overall, that just gives you some confidence. Uh, to totally. And, you know, if you think about back to the beginning of this conversation, virtual is critical to, for success in, a, in a, a meeting, particularly with a bigger group. But actually, the moving parts are quite daunting unless you have somebody who is expert behind you helping you do that. But it's all about planning. It's all about contingency. And it's all about that checklist to help you get through it. Great tips. Lovely. Thanks, Alex. Appreciate it.